Hey guys, this is Isam and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this particular artwork. This is a desert scene. This is a vector art and I used Vectornator Pro on my iPad Pro. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So let's start a new document and I'm going to choose Full HD 1920 by 1080. So this is the document and just tap on that. So this is the full document right now. As you can see, it's checkerboard, which means it is transparent. So let's check out the first layer. The first layer is here. We are going to add a sky background. So to add the sky, tap on this rectangle tool. As you can see here, Vectinator Pro is, has this slider setting. We can set the rounded corner. This is the full round. I don't want it to be round. I want it to have a straight corner and I will put it over here. All right, so I'm gonna change the color of this sky. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tap fill, and it's gonna be a gradient, and it's gonna be a linear gradient, like that. So the colors range from here to here. So I'm gonna change the first color, and I'm gonna set the color to this color. And I'm gonna change it like that, about, aquamarine color and this color over here is white I'm gonna change that to a light aquamarine like that okay so that is done so that is our first layer I'm gonna change that first layer I'm gonna call it sky and I'm gonna lock it so the next layer so the next one the next layer, I'm going to add the next layer over here, tap plus. Now, Vectinator Pro has a very good feature where it has a portal towards icons 8. So you just key in what you need. For now, I'm going to key in cloud. So let's see what we have. So we have a whole range of different clouds available for you. So I'm going to choose a particular cloud. Let's choose this cloud over here. So when I tap on it, it will immediately add on to this. As you can see, it is now inside this layer over here. Okay, so let's rename this as cloud. And we have choose this tool, the pointer tool, and we have this cloud. I'm gonna resize it. As you can see, there is an outline over here. I do not wish to have an outline, so I'm just gonna turn that off or maybe just tap here and I'm just going to delete it just tap here and press the trash can so I have one cloud over here which is nice so I'm gonna just drag over there but now I am going to add more clouds right so what I'm gonna do is tap there and then tap here for duplicate tap here and tap here to duplicate that I'm just going to drag it over here and I'm going to duplicate that again and tap it over there okay for now I'm going to make this cloud longer to resize proportionately tap using use your finger to touch the screen and then move this handle like that okay so I'm going to place it here and I'm going to duplicate this by pressing this duplicate button and I'm gonna place it over there okay so we have this and I'm gonna flip this so what we do is tap on here style and make sure you tap on arrange okay and here just flip you can also flip vertically so once I have that so now what I'm gonna do is select all of this and I'm going to align it Okay, align to the bottom so that all are having on the same bottom okay you can place one finger to restrict the movement horizontally so now what I'm gonna do I'm, so I'm gonna combine all these to form one piece of cloud so what I can do is select all of it use the pointer tool select all of this and then what you do is go to path and then tap either one of this okay so here as you can see it's very clear it's adding so it combines all of it all right so that is done 
So I have a very nice long, longish cloud and one small one. For this one, I'm going to make it smaller. I'm just going to put it over here. And then this one, I'd like to make it. Let's go to the layers. This one, I have. I'd like to have another copy of this and maybe make it a bit smaller and over here. Maybe I'll just place it over here. Okay, and that is done for the clouds. So for now, let's have another layer. Tap on the plus button, this layer. We're now gonna draw the pyramid. It's a very easy thing to do. So what we can do is tap on this particular uh, tool, which is a rectangle. Now we can actually double tap and you can bring up all these uh, other tools. So let's choose this tool, which is the polygon tool. As you can see, you can slide. You can have three sides, four or five. Let's make three sides, which is very convenient. So let's make three sides and then have it like that. So use the pointer tool and resize it like that. So now we have this very nice uh, triangle. I am going to duplicate this triangle. Okay, so now we have this, duplicate. So now let's choose the top, the top triangle that we have just duplicated and tap on this. Make sure you set it to style. I'm gonna set the fill color. Let's choose a color which is about uh, orangey okay yellowish orange and maybe like that and this is the value so you can see this value here i'm just gonna take about this kind of value all right that's done so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna resize this okay so we're gonna choose this node tool and then just tap on here and use this precise control over here okay very 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 useful okay or you can just move it over here press one finger and there you go so for this for this guy over here which is be, which is uh, located below this layer let's change this guy's color it's going to be a an orangey color something like that but a bit darker okay so we're done i think we're gonna make it spread a little bit longer so over here we're gonna spread it over there and over here we're gonna spread it there okay make it broader base for this guy as well we have to set it like that you can zoom in and fill it in so we've done we're done with our first pyramid and let's look at our layer and we're just gonna key in pyramid one, one. so now that we have this let's duplicate this pyramid so I'm just gonna select both and drag like that I'm using one finger on the screen and dragging. I'm going to resize this as well and let's have some fun and duplicate this. I'm going to rename this the pyramid tool. All right and I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to rename it as pyramid 3 and I'm going to select all of this. One, two, and I'm going to move it over here. Maybe over there. Okay. And I'm going to move it all the way down so that it's, it's behind. So what we have is something like that. Okay. Let's select this. Oop, let's select this. And I'm going to move it like that. So we are done with the pyramids. Now we're gonna now we're gonna do the now we're going to do the sand dunes. The sand dunes we have another layer, tap on this. So the sand dune, first we need a rectangle, just tap, double tap this 
and use this square just create a square uh, I mean rectangle and drag it over here for the sand I'm gonna choose a different color it's gonna be a lighter color something like that all right as you can see it doesn't there's a gap there so I'm just gonna use this pointer tool and just drag it up and we're done so this is done go back to the list and I'm gonna tap change the name to sand let's have another layer tap on this new layer and let's call it dune so for the dune an easy way to do this is by using this polygon tool and set the size to 7 let's have a polygon tool like that use the pointer tool let's rotate this such, such that the peak appears over here right at the top and now let's resize it resize this bring it down let's change the color to a linear gradient let's choose this color and let's choose a light color let's choose a lighter color than the sand but for this color we're gonna choose the color of um, a bit darker than the sand drag this down drag it over here and we are done we're not done completely just bring it down use the node tool and what we're going to do is going to curve it so double tap okay to easily add a curve i'm going to double tap this as well and this what we're going to do is tighten tighten the curve over here by dragging it closer dragging it closer but for this the handle make it shorter and this one as well all right and maybe this one drag it further drag this handle closer and bring it down okay so now we have something like this yes like that very nice so what we're gonna do now we're gonna have some shadow over here being cast over here and let's let's do it to do this what we can do is go to the layers panel and we have to duplicate this curve Okay, just tap on the duplicate button and now let's tap on the top curve and let's just change we have to change the gradient so right now at the moment down here is the dark layer and over here is the light so I think we can just stick to this light and dark just move it like that all right so what we can do now is we change the shape just bring this corner inwards bring this corner inwards and drag this handle over here so that we have a nice curve and drag this Oop, sorry let's lock this okay let's go back to this drag this node and change this and we're done now that it's off screen it's fine okay maybe not don't move this because we want it to have aligned with the layer below okay we've been done that is how you do a sand dune so now that we have this choose the pointer tool and then i'm gonna resize both of this layer and make it lower resize again i'm going to resize these two layers make it flatter i'm going to, I'm going to lock this i'm going to lock this sand layer now I'm going to select both of these curves, the dune, make it flatter, I'm going to drag it down and place it there. I'm going to duplicate this, 
by pressing here I'm gonna call it gain 2 so for this I'm going to select both and move it over here and this time I'm going to resize it and drag it over here but I do not wish to put it right on top it has to be behind the first dune so I'm gonna drag it down all right so I think it looks nice I'm gonna select both of these curves and I'm going to just flatten it some more and then I'm gonna lock this first dune and then I'm gonna move it over here okay and for this dune 2 I'm going to duplicate it and call it dune 3 lock dune 2 I'm gonna select dune 3 now and I'm gonna move it here maybe over here all right so as you can see there is this uh, definite line here which I don't want to have so what I want what I can do is adjust the nodes just bring it down like that and bring it down off screen and perhaps I'll adjust the curves like that the gradient okay do that again okay we're done and I think I'm gonna curve it downwards let's adjust that use the note tool and bring it down and that's it all right so I hope you can follow through I hope you like your desert scene and I hope it's easy to follow so a word about Vector United Pro is that it has come a long way since I first used it. I enjoyed the simplicity of it. It's very minimalistic and very functional. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe by clicking on that subscribe button. And then I'll see you in the next video.